-huh. where my head often goes when hearing of a deficiency that could have a downstream impact on higher levels of lipids, especially lipoproteins, which honestly has just sort of been there for the last six years, is entirely speculative. Uh, but more that I want to rule it in or rule it out, which is that there is an immune component that associates with higher secretion of triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. To put it another way, the immune response itself can actually mobilize more ApoB-containing lipoproteins. And so a lot of times, if there's something like what you're describing, the first place I want to go, one of the first places I want to go with family whenever there's some problem, is what are your inflammatory markers? Because if inflammatory markers are higher, then I start to wonder, is it part of that chain that I'm describing in some fashion that this deficiency could result in some damage or some other kind of pathology that then brings about an immune response and then one of the echoes in this immune response, again, as a consequence and not a cause, is this hyperlipidemia. It's possible. Again, totally theoretical.